Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Tom McNamara. I'm the uh, CEO of NeuroRetention. And um, I want to thank you all for taking time out of your afternoons to uh, spend a wee bit of time here with us. And so we are NeuroRetention. Um, we are a software company that um, basically helps colleges and universities to use the data that they generate in order to, number one, identify at-risk students, but then in addition to that, identify uh, really important trends with regards to how their institutions are run, with the ultimate goal of increasing student engagement and then solving one of the largest problems in education today, which is that of um, university completion rates. Um, despite the fact that we spend a phenomenal amount of money on education in this country, the US has the lowest graduation rate of any Western country, bar none. So just think about that for a second. And um, the statistics are staggering. And it's not just in one particular area of the higher ed space, it is across the board. And so after six years, regardless of the institution that the uh, students are going to, a little over 54% of them graduate within six years. Um, so that is the big, big problem that our company um, has been founded to solve. And not only that, with stagnant enrollment, there are so many colleges and universities out there that are struggling to make ends meet. Um, when you've got stagnant enrollment, you've got an ever-increasing budget. At some point, the revenue, if it's flat, the expenses, if they're increasing, that cannot work in the long term. And the only solution, the only solution, not just from the perspective of the institution, but from the perspective of society, is to focus on improving retention. Because a one percentage point improvement in retention on an annualized basis not only can have a massive impact on society, you're talking hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that are going to complete, going to have jobs that can pay back their loans to try and eat away at the massive burgeoning student loan crisis that we have in this country. But for colleges and universities, a one percentage point improvement in retention can have a multi-million dollar impact on their budget in year one and an exponential impact in years two, three, and four. Um, so we were founded specifically to tackle that. Um, the market opportunity is evolving. It is growing. We are not an early entrant to the market. We're very, very thankful to um, the early entrants who created a marketplace and that we believe with our technology is there for us to carve out a significant market share for ourselves. Um, but research that was done last year by Titan Partners valued the market at a little over 800 million. That is in the US higher ed market. Our company has application both to higher ed, has application to K-12, and has application to international markets as well. So it is a massive, massive um, opportunity. Not only that, there are so few institutions in this country who are either using technology, using their data, in order to identify students that are at risk, um, and more importantly, to try and do something about it. So we see a huge, huge opportunity here. And as I said, Neuro has application not just for higher ed, but across the spectrum. Um, so what is Neuro? You have to envision us as we sit on top of every electronic system that an institution has. We consume data from the LMS, from the enrollment management system, um, from the LMS, from any other system that we have. And, and other companies do that. But what we have done through our unique building of a wonderful ecosystem of microservices that combine rational database technologies and graphic database technologies, we're able to consume data in a way that none of our competitors can and use that data not just to inform our own risk algorithms, but to also serve it back um, as potential resource to the institutions that we work with. And in addition to that, it helps us also inform our um, Neuro Insights, which is our analytics engine that we launched earlier this year. So we consume data from everywhere. We use it to inform our risk algorithms, identify the students that are at risk, and then our wonderfully intuitive case management system that really has been the key to our success up to this particular point in time, allows the advisors to do so much more work in a much more organized fashion than they've ever been able to do before. And this is our platform. It is a beautiful piece of software. Adoption is the key to any software technology. And we believe we have a massive, massive advantage over our competitors because we have taken the view that in many cases, especially when it comes to an end user interface, less is always more. If you want somebody not to use your system, throw the kitchen sink at them, show them how smart you are, put all the data on the user interface um, and tell them they have to use it. It won't work. Um, we have taken the complete opposite approach. We have taken a very minimalist approach it is a beautiful piece of software, and people are loving it. The adoption rates are far superior than anything we expected. 
Um, and it effectively helps to organize an advisor's day. We use automated actions to keep the students that are on track, the uh, little green circle there, the traffic lights, they don't need advisor interactions on a daily, weekly basis. We use texting, um, engagement strategies, congratulations on your test, great job here, great job there, which allows the advisors to focus their time and effort on the students who need help. Um, and they're doing it wonderfully successfully. Um, in addition to that, the key here is data interoperability. There, the, the presidents we talk to are so frustrated about all these startup com companies coming in with all these great technologies, none of which talk to each other, yet the CIOs are told that they need to implement them. We have fixed that problem because we suck in data from all of them. We organize it, we uh, use it ourselves, we pull in notes from every system so that the advisors, the, the challenge we made to our uh, dev team was can an advisor get up to speed on a particular student's issue within 30 seconds so that they can have a one-on-one -on -one relationship looking into the student's eye as opposed to looking at four different systems. And it is becoming increasingly effective. Um, we've built a wonderful partnership. Uh, we are an alliance partner with uh, Canvas. Uh, we are a, our lead investor in this round that we're going through, Nelnet. Uh, they have uh, 15,000 relationships that they are now selling us to. Um, we have a partnership with Ruffalo Nell Levitt's, the gold standard in um, non-cognitive surveys, where we're the only group that consumes their non-cognitive surveys. So we're hugely encouraged by that. And um, the competitive space, it's all over the place. There's a lot of early entrants. They, they did a wonderful job creating a market that now we believe we're going to take advantage of, um, especially when you factor in the partnerships that we have built. Nobody dominates. Um, it's very fragmented, and it's there for the taking. Um, our recent history, we were called Copley. Um, we are now neuroretention. Um, we have a, started a wonderful track record, and we're, we're uh, in great shape. We started last year with no clients. We implemented with SJSU. Um, we now have 20 clients, and we're on our way to finishing this year with, with 40. Um, adoption rates are wonderful, and um, we believe strongly. We're currently um, raising a $3 million round at a $6 million pre-money valuation um, with our lead investor, Nelnet um, Business Solutions out of uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, thank you all very, very much for your time, and um, enjoy the rest of your conference.